wife told me I look like a... Fat guy in a little coat. Fat guy in a little coat. guys we did it we're at 30,000 on the Facebook page and we're over a thousand subscribers on the YouTube channel so now we get to draw some names <laughs> <laughs> who's ready to get a set of free custom colored cables boom look at that pink got a bunch of guys wanting pink man stick around to end the video could be you Mm. Looks like I got some goodies in today. Man. All kinds of stuff. Let me get my knife out. We'll open these up. That's not a knife. That's a knife. I can't use that little bitty knife. Should we go full K-bar? Get, get nasty with it? Should we go medieval on this bitch? Open them up. I'm more of a K bar man myself. Don't ever cut towards yourself. And here you go. Back to some wire care. Orange heat shrink, green heat shrink, pink heat shrink, white heat shrink. Got some pink tech flex for some custom cables for a couple guys. Notice I said guys. Oh yeah. Look at that. Man, that's a big old spool. What the hell is that? Come on. Oh yeah, 100 foot of three quarter inch black heat shrink. I think I built cables or something. Let's see what we got here. I think I have a feeling I know what this is. Uh, maybe I don't know what this is. Oh, shipping labels. So I can ship out battery cables, yay. I've been waiting on these. I know what this is. This is for all the club car guys with freaking OBC because their battery cable kits require stinking custom. It takes a custom lug so that you can go through the. Yep. Oh, compression lugs, baby. A whole bunch of them. If you have a club car, with the OBC, don't get mad at me. Just know that your battery cable kits cost more money because of these little things right here. And of course they would put those other ones on the damn bottom. Mm. All right, so if you have a club car precedent and you ask me why your cable kit costs so much, it's because of this stupid terminal right here. You have to leave the wire bare so that you can pass it through the box to your OVC. 
and you get one of these compression lugs that you slide over the wire and then you got to screw that bad boy down. Take your piece of cable, run it through your OBC, and you got to strip this back. But you get the gist of it. Then this goes in here, like that. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubble gum. Deer and clean a table, man. I'm talented. Let me tell you. Look at that. Didn't even nick any wires. Boom. God bless, man. You're about to friggin' about to strip that son bitch way back. This is why Ryan rocks it easy go. Just kidding, club car guys. <laughs> All right, so look, now you can pass it through there, put it into your lug. Copper strand don't taste good. Anyway, squeeze it down. Boom, now you can do your OBC. <sighs> All right, let's get to going. So today on Modified, we're going to be marking up the back wall on the Project Soundwave cart. We're also going to start doing all the mock-up for all the subs. There's a lot of woodwork going on, guys. So I'm going to show you all the way I cut my circles for my box, how we're going to lay this out, hopefully explain a few things. Guys, I posted a picture on our Facebook group of the box with the speakers in it, and I had a guy said, man, that's just some speakers. Guys, this is a six inch speaker, okay? That's not what's going back there. This is what's going back there. This is a six inch digital design Redline series. You can see the difference. Go set a double D's right there. Some nice looking speakers too. <laughs> so, all right, guys. So, there's gonna be a lot of tools that we're gonna need in order to get this done correctly. Now, take into consideration, this is all mock-up. This is not a final product. This is just an easier way. When I do get my expensive-ass birch that I'm building the box out of in, I already have a game plan. I already have templates. Everything is gonna be a whole lot easier to just copy over. Uh, you know, this could change several times. I like the design that I have right now. Uh, you know, I, I showed somebody to it the other day and they were like, oh, you know, you should do it like that. So you never know. It's always good to take in other people's ideas. But with that being said, you know, you're going to have to cut circles. There's all kinds of custom woodworking. You know, you can do it with a jigsaw. And yes, this is a Black & Decker jigsaw that's, I don't know, it was my granddad's. I still use it to this day. I think it's probably 40 or 50 years old. Works like a champ. I myself, I like to use a router. I got a little Ryobi plunge router, a little half horsepower. I have built all kinds of stuff with this thing. It works like a champ. I got the big circle jig on it. That way we can cut some perfectly round holes. You gotta have all your measuring stuff, protractors, speed squares, clamps, the whole nine yards. So yeah, it's gonna be a hot, busy day. It's freaking 90 something degrees outside, like always. And that whole Canada thing's not sounding bad right now. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not moving to Canada. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to it.
All right, so this piece is temporary anyway, but it's exactly four foot wide where I want it to be. And this is more or less for mock-up. I'm just doing this so that I can kind of get a good idea of when I do get my board, I have a, I'll have a template ready to go. I won't have to sit there and measure this all out multiple times. Now this is just a piece of half inch plywood. I do plan on running uh, half inch birch for this back. I'm gonna go ahead and clamp this in place that way when I drill my holes, I know I'm, I'm on the money. So yes, right now it's just a mock-up board. It's just plain old plywood. It's just a cheap scrap that I had. You know what, I actually got it from a friend. I didn't even have to go buy it. See the hole. There we go. I will be using different hardware. Like I said, this is all just to get it all mounted so I can get everything mocked up. Alright guys, when we get this box done with the birch, when we get it all ready to fire, y'all need to leave me a comment and let me know what the first song we need to bump is. I'm kind of a Tupac man myself, but I could be persuaded. Drop a comment let me know what you think and see what we're going to bump first. Hey guys, make sure to hit that bell and subscribe, that way when I drop a new video you're the first to know. Also, if you're not on our Facebook page, go check us out. We're also on Instagram. Guys, if you're looking to sell your cart or if you're looking to buy a cart, go check out our new page, Golf Carts for Sale. We've got 70,000 members on that page. Always looking for parts, always looking for golf carts. There's always something there. Guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. If not, don't leave me a bad comment. I don't want to hear it. But if you did like it, leave me a comment. Let me know how I can improve and what I can do for you guys. Next week, we will be mocking up the dash with the speakers and the iPad. Make sure to stick around. Guys, 
Always remember, be safe, and go modify. I bet y'all thought I forgot about the cables. I'm your huckleberry. Well, I didn't. Picked two random names. One off the Facebook channel and one off my YouTube channel. You want to know who it is? What's in the box? So, guys and girls that won the custom colors is Curtis Looney. and Jenny Duke. Y'all have won a free custom set of colored cables. Make sure to either email me at golfcartsmodified at gmail.com or message me on Instant Messenger on Facebook under Ryan O'Rear. Yes, that's my real name. I didn't make it up. I was blessed with it. I don't know what to say. Anyway, guys, give me a holla. We'll get you a set of custom colors for your cart. If you have a gas cart, you're only getting two cables because you only got two cables. So, sorry about you. All right, guys, make sure to stay tuned in. You never know what we're going to do next. Just never know. Later. <laughs>